How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. There's not a whole lot going on here on the homestead, so uh, I'm needing some firewood, so I figured I'd bring you guys along. And uh, we got the Kubota BX1500. Uh, we're going to see if we can get a load of wood out of the woods here. I'm not sure if I can. It was pretty slimy coming in, but we're going to give it a try because we do need some firewood. So I figure I'd bring you guys along, check out what I'm doing. Okay, over here on this side of the homestead, we got a lot of old dead trees that just got to be cleaned up anyhow. And they make perfect firewood because they're already seasoned. We got this one laying right over the trail when we come in and out. I want to knock it down before it falls on somebody. So we're going to take this one out first. you can see what happened it's hung up in these trees over here it's just got some branches I'm gonna try to rock it a little bit and see if I can move it if not I'll bring the machine over here and give it a tug with the chain Okay, at least now we don't have to worry about it falling on somebody. It's down on the ground. We'll cut what's good up, use it for firewood, get the rest off the trail. Okay, this is the very top of the tree. This is where it is most rotten at the top. Some of this we're not going to use for firewood, but there's no reason why you couldn't use this for like starter wood or something like that. It'd still be a good wood for starter. Uh, as long as it's good and dry, it wouldn't take much. You probably could light a match to it and it would actually burn. But we're going to go ahead and keep chopping this up into firewood, the rest of it. And we may find a better spot. Like up in here, it sounds a little hard, so it might be better as we go up. This might be just a bad spot in a tree. So we're not going to just leave this whole piece there. We're going to go ahead and keep chopping it. Makes it lighter to get it off the trail. And uh, if we decide we get some better stuff out of it, that's, that's good too. So we're going to finish cutting it up.
let's have a look at the inside of this wood. This is still burnable wood. It's still got some weight to it. This is good. This garbage we'll pitch at right on down the line. I think all this is still good wood to burn. See, we would have thought right there at that end right there where it busted to pieces, it would stop being actually a good hard piece of wood. But find out there's still a lot of good wood in this tree. So we got about five good pieces out of that top. All this looks pretty still pretty good. It's still pretty good wood. Getting a little punky on this end, but still good and hard. Don't look like much, but that's that whole tree right there. So all we gotta do is find us another one. We'll have us a nice little load. We'll find us another pretty easy tree. You know, the first thing to go is always your easy ones first. Get them done and then you go to your harder ones. So I'm by myself today, so I'm just gonna see how many easy ones I can get just move up to another location. This is a nice piece of ground to get firewood on for sure. Lots of them here. We don't want to get the trailer too heavy. I'm not sure if I can even get this out of these woods. It's pretty slimy today. And the tires on the tractor, man, they're even slimier. Look at that. They're like really packed with mud. So I'm not sure if I can even get it out of here. So we're going to leave it at that and see what happens.
then I really didn't think we was going to get out of them woods, but we did. That was pretty good. So we're going to try to get, I want to get at least two loads of this. We might go on this side over here and try to stay out of the, uh, the mud. That's one bad thing about this. We got a lot of mud here. So we're going to go ahead and get this all stacked in here. That's the second load of wood. Uh, a lot drier on this side than it was over there. I was pretty lucky to get out of there. Anyhow, I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.